Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 45 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. So, in this episode, I am going to show you how to max stats without doing literally anything. All you gotta do is just kind of sit in here and put points into your weapons. So, I'll kind of show you what you gotta do. I'm going to assume you watched my video for making every single invention, so... The key for this basically just revolves around the level up powder. The ruler's sword, poison wrench, pretty much just all of the very high end weapons that you can make, like the heavy hammer for example. Like you can create these, go get them to plus five. You can then break them down and put them onto your weapon. So you do need to do a little bit of combat, but you don't really have to, because you can kind of just use level up powders, which you can make infinitely. So you basically just grab this, I'm not going to use it on such a low end weapon, but you pretty much put it on your weapon. I would say maybe when the weapon's around plus 10 or so, that's when you're going to want to start doing that, just simply because that's when the levels start taking a little while. Like, if I go and take an enemy down with the Island King at plus one, I'll probably literally get a, a full level. Like, I'll straight up get an entire full level. But around plus ten, it starts moving millimeters at a time, and it gets very slow. So that's when you can just use the infinite money glitch to sell lures. Just like this. Now I have money, so I'll buy a diamond. I will buy an experience coin. That was not an experience coin, I messed up. But we'll buy an experience coin. And a final bomb. And now... We can just create our level up powder. You can literally do this infinitely, and you can just sit here, use the level up powder on your weapon to give it synthesis points, and you can then use these weapons that you got to plus five very quickly, and just put some points on here. We're just going to stick 22 lightning on here, because why not? You can also just start directly putting gems onto your weapons as well, because they are going to be very efficient uses of synthesis points. Like 10 amethyst will give you like 100 attack. Okay, now we're just going to break it down. And you can just use the level up powders on this thing. If you really don't want to go level it up, but then I would recommend that you do it on the higher end weapons like the heavy hammer for example. Since you'll get the most stats for it. So now we can just stick this on any weapon that we want. I personally want to put this on Monica's armband, so that is what we're going to do. Alright, so we are sufficiently grinded up. So really what I did was I just used various gems to get every single stat over 200. And then after that I didn't really care. And then I just kind of grinded my attack up to 500. 497 is close enough. I'm not too worried about that. This guy's at 500. And Supernova, I'm going to show you guys. So the Amethyst to level up attack, lightning, and smash a little bit. So the attack cap for the ultimate weapons is 500. So I want them to be at 500. The stat cap for most of these other miscellaneous stats are 250, some are 300, as you saw with the armband. So, I'm not going to give you the exact breakdown of every single stat, but you can kind of play around with them. Though I, I don't recommend you use pearls because they increase durability. You can get a more efficient use of points on your gem. Ruby will give you 15 fire, 15 smash for example. Peridot will give you 5 attack and then 8 of 3 or 4 different stats. Uh, Topaz will give you some chill and cyclone and scale, I believe. 
You can also find this that specific information by looking at the PSN profile site. All right, everybody. So that's really all we got for this video. I hope that it helped. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day. And we will see you in the next one. The next two videos, we're basically just going to be clearing out dungeons. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be trying my best to get all metals in these floors, if possible. I did a couple floors off camera, as you can see. But the other ones that we haven't done yet, I'll just kind of do off camera. There's nothing special about the floors that I did do. They're pretty much easy floors. It's this top part here that's the harder ones. Anyway, that's it. See you later. Bye.